All right, I think it's quite clear. We just want to recap what we heard from Ravi Shankar Prasad. One, Ravi Shankar Prasad says that in a 2 to 1 judgment, the Ilabad High Court has accepted that where the Ram Lala uh, idol is, is the birthplace of Lord Ram. However, in a 2 to 1 judgment, Justice Khan and Justice Agarwal have proposed a three way division of the property, one third to be given, uh, or, uh, uh, or rather to be given to the Hindu groups where uh, Ram Lala will not be dislodged, worship for. Hindu believers will continue at the side. One third to be given to the Sunni Waqf boards uh, where a mosque can be built and one third to be given to the Nirmohi uh, Akhara who is another litigant uh, in this case. We've got uh, Rajiv Dhawan and Chandan Mitra back with us. Uh, of course, uh, Justice Sharma, the third judge, had a dissenting judgment. Uh, he ruled in favor of the Hindu groups uh, completely. Uh, Rajiv Dhawan, we are seeing a two to one judgment by Justice Khan and Justice Agarwal and Chandan and if you're with us, we're clarifying this now. We heard Ravi Shankar again uh, that the majority judgment accepts yeah. that where Ram Lala stands is the birthplace of Lord Ram. However, uh, it, it has proposed a three-way division of the property with one-third to be given to the Sunni Waqf board as well for the building of a mosque. This is what we've been able to understand from Ravi Shankar Prasad. Your first comments, Rajiv Dhawan. Uh. The judgment does not fail to astonish. Is that okay? Go ahead, the judgment Barkha. doesn't fail. Sorry, can you hear me, Barkha? Very well. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, it is in many senses quite an astonishing judgment. As far as the title suit is concerned, one question that the people of India will ask is that in 1992, was there a masjid that was destroyed or not? If the answer to that question, which we all saw with our own eyes, is that a masjid was destroyed, then the legal question as to whom this site belongs to should have been fairly and squarely answered. Because it is clear from the rulings in the 1940s that it is the Sunni Waqf board that is the owner and the question of dismissing the suit that had been instituted by the Sunni Waqf board seems to say the least a little strange. But Rajiv, what the about second, this, proposal, this proposal to divide the property three ways? See, if we are sitting with some kind of panchayati justice <laughs> and trying to find exactly. a compromise solution then certainly there is no difficulty. But the whole problem over the past few years, the past decade, possibly a century, has been that the communities have not come to a conclusion that the property can be divided in any particular way. Therefore, we will get back to a status quo ante where the court is saying you divide the property and we are asking you to divide the property within three months. It can't be an injunction that comes, in fact, from the court itself. The court has gone into a question which it is ill-equipped to answer. It is a question of theology and a question of history.